Hello and welcome to Glittering the Coast. My name is Angela and today I'm going to show you how to make beautiful beach pins. In this tutorial it's super easy to do so just grab your stuff and let's follow along. So we start off with the Paper Mate Eat Joy gel pins and they're one of the only pins right now that I'm using to glitter and they're very easy to take apart. So you start off with taking off the end, you take out the ink and the two little sections in, this, in the inside. We're going to remove the clip. What I do is I just twist it off and then we're going to take the Dremel. I also use the Dremel on my nails because I do my own dip powder. And with the little standard that we have on that, there are three spots that I get rid of. And um, it's really easy. You just turn it on and it just sands all of the rough spots off. So there's two spots on the top and then there's two spots or one spot on the back that I always get rid of. And after that, I go and wash with Dawn dish soap and make sure that it is really, really clean and dry. And for this one, I have spray painted with the Rust Oleum spray paint. It's Ocean Mist and Gloss, and I let that dry. Um, depending on how hot or how humid it is, um, just kind of depends on how fast or slow your spray paint is going to take to dry. I've got three glitter colors from KCC Glitter and they'll be linked in the description as, as well with a 15% off coupon code. So the first one that we're using today is called Caprici. And when I'm doing an ombre, I always start off with the darkest color first. So this one's going to be the darkest one. And it is a really pretty ocean type of color. I'm doing the epoxy method with this and I'm using KS Resin. And uh, for this, I use Liquidy Split Ultra UV. It's a fast set epoxy. And for the second glitter color from KCC Glitter, it is called Fairy Godmother. And it is one of my favorite blue colors. It is a really beautiful color. So if you need a blue and you're looking for one, definitely grab this one. Now my third glitter color is called Fairy Godmother. No, I'm sorry, it's called Bubbly. Sorry, Fairy Godmother is blue. So Bubbly is next. And what I'm doing is I'm taking those, um, that gold and I'm kind of dumping it onto the lighter blue color so that we get a nice ombre going on. Now, that dries for approximately two hours because it is a fast set epoxy. And then I take Rust-Oleum two times clear spray paint and I spray that on all of my pens and that just seals in the glitter. So if you're having any issues with like tiny micro bubbles on that first layer, that Rust-Oleum two times clear, either in matte or gloss, will help to seal the glitter and it helps to keep all the little micro bubbles out. And um, as you can tell, I've got some other pins that are spinning right now. And I did a pencil pen tutorial. So if you're interested in that, it will be linked in the description. And I always take a torch and pop any micro bubbles that I may have. So whenever you're applying the epoxy onto your pens, when you're first applying the epoxy, to add your glitter, you wanna do very, very, very small amounts. But here, since I am now sealing my glitter with it, I wanna make sure that I've got ample amount of epoxy on there. And then I make sure that I'm not overdoing it so that any bubbles, uh, you know, they've gotta make sure that your bubbles get popped. And the way to do that is to make sure that you have just enough epoxy on there. So I think I went over these pens with two coats of epoxy on top of that glitter and it's kind of boring to watch so we don't need to record all of that. So now I'm taking my sandpaper and I'm going over all of the parts of the pen that has glitter on it and we just make sure that everything is sanded nice and smooth and after that we will go to the sink, wash with Dawn dish soap and water and uh, make sure that all of the pens are super dry. So with these pens, I'm putting on lots of epoxy, like I said, enough so that uh, it has a really good coating on it, but not so much that you can't pop any micro bubbles if you needed to. The other two glitter pens already have epoxy on them and it's still wet. And I'm taking my Alumalite in white, it's an epoxy additive. And I'm putting that into the epoxy and with the finger caught on, 
Now is how I'm going to be adding the beach waves. So give me a little bit of grace here. I'm working on, um, you know, getting all of my shots actually in the camera angle. I don't know what's happening, but you know, we'll get there. We'll work it out. So with a finger cut on, this is how I do my epoxy waves on my pens. It's a little bit different than the beach tumbler video. So if you're interested in learning how to make a beach tumbler, I'll also link that in the description for you. But basically what I do is I go around the pen with a little bit of white epoxy on my glove and I go in and I just add, you know, a, a twirl it and I just add my epoxy that way. A little bit goes a long way. And I kind of like to be able to see the epoxy or the, excuse me, the glitter through the epoxy. So I don't do it too heavy. I really want to be able to see that glitter and then just kind of have a little bit of light beach waves all throughout the pen. Now, after I'm satisfied with how it looks, ooh, it's so pretty. I will take my torch and I will pop any micro bubbles that I have on there. And we will continue those steps until all of the pins have been epoxied with those beach waves. So like I said, these other two already have epoxy on them and they were just spinning waiting on me uh, to be able to work on them. A little bit of the white epoxy additive in that and a little goes a long way. Like I said, just twirl it around. Don't get too fancy with it. If you get a little heavy handed, you can move the pin down a little bit further onto your glove where you don't have the white epoxy and it kind of removes a little bit of it and it gives it really pretty texture and character. Now these are such a fun gift and they're very simple and easy to make. And because my YouTube name is Glittering the Coast, which we live off of the coast of Florida, um, I really like to make beach, make beach themed items because they sell so good in my town. And depending on where you live, you know, these may do well, they may not do well. You could also pretend that these are like lake life type of uh, pens. So they're super pretty and just gorgeous, gorgeous items that you can gift to some to whoever you want to. These would also make really great teacher gifts. Now I'm on the last step. We're on our final coat of epoxy. If there were any um, excessive pokey parts, like any glitter that was sticking up, you're welcome to sand after your last coat of epoxy was dried and sand it. Then you take it over, make sure it's washed and dry and clean up all debris and put on that final coat of epoxy. If you still have any problems after that, keep adding some more epoxy on. Make sure that those coats are nice and dry in between and these pens will turn out beautifully for you. Like I said on that white epoxy, a little bit goes a long way, so just take your time. Now I've got a discount code for the resin and the glitter in the description and all of the items that I use are going to be linked in the description, so feel free to check those out. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comment section and make sure to like and subscribe. I am on my way to 4,000 watch hours on all of my videos and up to 1,000 subscribers before I can go to the next level on my YouTube journey. Now that is super exciting and I am um, like trying to pump out as many videos as I can. So if you see something like a Pinterest picture and you don't know how to make it, send me an email and let me know and I'll see if I can recreate it for you. Now all we gotta do is assemble our pins. We start off with the silver parts and those are the little clicking mechanisms. We put the black parts in, our ink, and then our tops. Now I've said this in other pen videos, you make sure that all of your pens are clicking properly because we don't want to send out any items that don't work. Um, you'll see here in a moment that one of my pens does not click properly and eventually it started to. <laughs> I think I just needed to click it a few times, but sometimes there's epoxy that's stuck in uh, the top or the bottom part and you can take an exacto knife and gently remove any excess paint or any excess epoxy that had gotten inside. You want to be very gentle doing that so that you don't completely remove uh, the plastic pieces because you'll ruin the pen altogether. Well thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've learned something and if you have any questions feel free to leave it in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you again so much for watching.